Let me show you this tip that could be very useful when you are developing CRUD applications. So let's say you create a table T with an ID of uh, type int, and it's going to be a primary key and auto increment. We don't care about null values for now. And let's say we have a column which is just text. Okay. Now uh, we can insert into this table. Let's say we just want to specify the value of this uh, the text column because the ID is auto increment. For example, one, two, and so forth, right? So you can insert uh, several rows there. So you have these data. It's stored in the table. And let's say we want to update uh, one of the rows. So we have to, with SQL, we have to do update T set column equals, let's say, two with a star where ID equals two. Okay, so now the data is updated. But the thing is that your application, if you are developing a Java or a Python or a JavaScript application or a C++ application, it has to use different um, uh, SQL statements for inserting and for uh, updating the data, right? Uh, and yeah, many frameworks uh, manage that uh, for you. They handle this situation, but uh, sometimes you just want to take control of the um, database, you know, to have full control and full power with SQL. And you might want to actually write these queries. Uh, so your code will have to, for the CRUD operations, for the create operation, it will have to use these insert into, and for the update operation, it will have to use the update statement. But here's the trick you can use instead of instead of using uh, insert into you can use replace into, which works exactly the same as insert into really. And I'm going to show you that. So let's say we want to insert the value three now. So it's the same except that I have uh, spelled these like replace into instead of insert into, and the data is there. The new row is there. So that's pretty cool. But the interesting part is that if you do a replace into T, and let's say we want to now specify the ID and as well as the text, then you say values, you can still uh, insert new rows by using the new uh, value here so that the auto increment works. Uh, so let's say we have uh, four, uh, but we want to edit uh, maybe let's edit, uh, I don't know, three, right? So ID, this corresponds to this column. Three is going to be now in Spanish, let's say, tres. Let's put some exclamations there, exclamation mark. And, uh, and the cool thing is that the new row was inserted right here with a new ID, but because we specified this value here, and that's the primary key, then we edited, it updated this row. What actually happens is that this got uh, deleted, and then it inserted a new row. That's what MariaDB is doing here. So this way you can use the same SQL code to for both operations, uh, for create and for update. It could uh, be handy in some situations. Uh, it depends what kind of frameworks you are using. I hope you found uh, these interesting, and let me know what you would like to learn next. So yeah, that's it for now. See you in the next video.